Hey everyone, I'm Action Kid and this is Mary Jane. Hello everyone. You may know her from our walks in Little Italy, both in Manhattan and the Bronx, and also our dinner date at <laughs> Arthur Avenue. Yeah, <laughs> eating Italian American food. Yep, but today we're at Top of the Rock in Rockefeller Center. It's our first time here. I've never been here and this is going to be incredible because we're going to the top of this building and I'm expecting some gorgeous views at the very, very top. But are you ready to do this? I certainly am. <laughs> yeah, I am too. Let's go. I love that we are both super excited. <laughs> here we go, top of the rock. By the way, when you come here during the holidays, they have a giant Christmas tree here. Biggest tree in New York City. All right, where is Top of the Rock? Top of the Rock. Hey, where do we go to the top? Where you go to the top? You go yeah. to the top, you go down this? Side of the hallway. Oh. In the middle of the hallway, you go on the right. Top okay. of the rock. We got it. Film it right. All right. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Can't believe out of all the years I've lived here, I've never been up here. Yeah. Well, mainly because I feel like as a New Yorker, I don't feel like I need to go up here. Yeah. I mean the tourist side, so all the artistic attractions, the touristy thing. Uh -huh. I also remember when I moved to California. Oh, we go here. In the middle of the hallway, he said. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we go. Oh, purchase tickets. So we go this way. Okay. All right. No, oh, we have, we, have we have a voucher already. Okay. All right. So we'll get back to you after we go upstairs. Oh, maybe not. What is this? Whoa. This is amazing, whoa, incredible chandelier. All right, we'll get back to you after we get our tickets. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I look a, ridiculous, but hey. I mean, 360 camera, normal <laughs> camera, <laughs> microphones, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Top of the rock, all right. Stand amongst over 237 skyscrapers. So this is like a museum? Wow. I never even knew this is like a museum in here. I know Mary Jane is excited. She's <laughs> coming here to this museum and watching the skyline of New York City probably for the first time. Yes, I will. So far, I've seen, I mean, I've been to a few landscape points of views of Manhattan, especially, uh -huh. but never from the top of something. When you guys are ready to head upstairs, just please come all the way down. If you're reading the wall, or waiting for someone, just place that to the side. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So all this text is talking about the history of the city and Rockefeller Center. Rockefeller Center was originally owned by Columbia Universal and a Metropolitan Opera House did not stay in the stock market fashion in October 1929. I know that much because I'm a licensed New York City tour guide, but this goes into more detail. All right, let's get our picture taken. All right. Okay. Oh god, we have to yeah, take pictures. Yeah, we gotta take a picture. Alright. Alright, let's take a seat right here. Okay, we got a seat. Put your bag right outside the window. Take a seat back, have your feet dangling, and also move a little bit this way. Oh, this way? Alright. Okay. Go to photos, go to a smile. Three, two, one. Second one, you guys are falling off, okay? Alright. Falling off? Falling off. Upstairs, yeah. All right, thank you. No Thanks. problem. Okay. All right, we just got our picture taken, and it'll probably look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and they'll probably charge like over twenty dollars for that picture. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's what it was when I went to World Trade Center. It was twenty-five dollars for one picture. Jesus, twenty-five? <laughs> that's a good business. Yeah. By the way, we're filming this on a Thursday morning in March, so there's not too many crowds. And then the, the last one. It's was around 10:45 a.m. right now. I know during the summer and on weekends it can get really crowded here. Only 43 seconds to the top. Whoa! And you will see what a weather there is today. Because we picked the perfect day, honestly. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. Yeah. Are you just one? No, we're two. I'll get you on the next. Okay. All right. So, only 43 seconds to the top. I'm excited. <laughs> Have you been to an observation tower anywhere in the world? Well, in Italy there are many. There are? Medieval one, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> so they are, like, not nearly comparable to, to this. Yeah. Let's go. All right, we got it. Uh, you want to stay? Okay. We can cover the hair. I'll cover it for you, okay? Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Come on over. I mean, right okay. all right, got it. All right. Where is it from? Oh. Italy. Italia. Yeah. Okay, benvenuti. <laughs> How many? Just two? Yeah, just two. Okay, okay, what about us? From Say, okay, bienvenue. <laughs> okay. Say. Hmm? Say. 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 Oh. A lot of Europeans here. This is in France as well? God, he doesn't know where Cyprus is. That's comprehensible, just. Yeah. What country? I've been to Empire State Building, World Trade Center, and uh, one in Mexico City, the huh? Latin American Tower, and uh, Cyprus. Taipei, one of Taiwan. Cyprus. Yeah, Cyprus. that one was really nice. Cyprus. Okay. Well, what about New York? New York, World Trade Center, and Empire State Building. Germany? And now oh, it's going up. Oh, say something about Germany. So this is the only Breeze. one of the Breeze. famous three that you missed. Oh, yeah, this yes. is the last one. <laughs> Besides the new one called The Edge, which is opening on March 11. And you need to look up because there's a video that happens in this elevator. Get prepared. 
This was so cool. Whoa. I don't know if you could see My it. ears pop at least three, four times. Really? In that elevator, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're here on the 67th floor. 67, whoa. Step right in, please. The back side, middle front. Please stand. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Oh, my God. I don't think Mary Jane's ever been so high up in her life. No, not outside of an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> or on top of a mountain. Not in a city, definitely. <laughs> I think that's uh, 432 Park Avenue. Currently, it's the tallest residential building in New York City that's occupied. The Central Park Tower is still being built, and no one's in there yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Tall skyscraper, skyscrapers in front of me, they're known as the 57th Street Super Talls on Billionaire's Row of 57th Street because they overlook Central Park and people have all their fancy buildings, fancy apartments in there, the penthouses and the high life. High life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go to the upper decks. Can you imagine that there are people, like private people, who can have this view for themselves at home? I know. That is crazy. That's crazy. That will be unthinkable. And people pay millions for that view. Actually, like tens of millions. Oh, by the way, here's the gift shop. I don't even want to begin what the prices of these <laughs> souvenirs are, but let me take a look. Okay, we got a hat there for $26. This mug is how much? $28. <laughs> Top of the rock. Whoa, 14 bucks for a flask? Yeah, but this is like poor quality. <laughs> And they also have the bottle of water over there, which when I went to the World Trade Center, it was five bucks for a 12 ounce bottle. $25 for water bottle. Yeah, that's funny. How to save money in New York. Don't buy souvenirs at Top of the Rock. <laughs> Seriously, don't buy souvenirs. Spend your money in experiences. That's, that's my main exactly. suggestion. Oh, wow. This is cool. There's an indoor section and an outdoor section. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whoa. 
Okay, I think that right there is the one Vanderbilt Tower next to Grand Central Terminal. And that's the MetLife building over there with the Chrysler building. Straight ahead of me is the Empire State Building on 34th Street and 5th Avenue. That's the uh, Grace Building over there. No, I think this is the Grace Building. That may be the Bank of America Tower and that's the 2 Times Square Building, H&M Tower. I know a lot of these skyscrapers by name. I mean, this view is simply, it's the view. Yeah. Let's go outside. That's right. I'm excited to go outside. Please. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, such Whoa. a beautiful day. It's perfect. Not many clouds in the sky at all. All right, folks. I hope you're enjoying this view as much as I am. I have a 360 camera. If you'd like to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. Well, you can pan all around with 360 camera, see the entire skyline and even more that I can't see, like behind me and to the side. Oh wait, there is yeah. like a gap. So like people that. can take pictures without yeah. the view being obstructed. Just don't drop your phone through there, that's a bad <laughs> thing to do. This is the eastern side. This is the eastern side of Top of the Rock. Okay, let's go to the other side and also go up there. There's oh, there's another, another floor. You know what, I like that you can really get the feeling that Manhattan is an island. It is, yeah. Because when you are inside Manhattan, it's very hard because it's so dense with tall buildings. Okay, let's All right, go. let's go. Do we have a time limit to stay here? No. No? We can stay as long as you want. That's great. <laughs> I would have felt so much pressure otherwise. Yeah. The World Trade Center is the same thing. You have no time limit. Okay, let's go. Wait, no, this is the exit. <laughs> I think we go... Oh, here we go. This direction? Exit is to the right and upper deck is to the left. I guess it's the line to go out. So 
so there's 68 floors, I guess, because we got off at 67, and now we're going up one floor. I didn't even realize at what floor we got off <laughs> at. Whoa. Oh, nice. All right, this is the view. This is oh the view on Central gosh. Park. Whoa. Oh, that's good. <laughs> You can really get a sense of how <laughs> tall these super tall buildings are on Billionaire's Row by looking at them from here. It's incredible. They're also so weird too. They're like so thin. It kind of feels out of place in New York a little bit. <laughs> because? Yeah, this, the super tall skyscrapers. Mm -hmm. That one's the Central Park Tower. Because they are way too tall in yeah. comparison to the other ones. And they're too thin, too. That's true, that's true. I mean, I know that there are regulations within each block that mm -hmm. the totality of the height of the buildings inside the block does not have, like, cannot be too high or mm -hmm. something, right? Yeah. So if they want to build these super tall towers, they have to be thin. Yeah, in order to exactly. compensate, yeah. <laughs> and the buildings around, they have to be very low. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we can walk all the way around here. This is gorgeous. I can see as far as like um, the Bronx too, all the way in the north there. Yeah, I actually love this, that you can see the whole Bronx. You can see the entirety of Central Park too which you can't yeah. see from the Empire State Building, which I've been there, been there. And that's all of New Jersey over there on the, across the river. You see all of uh, Hell's Kitchen neighborhood. Then that in the distance there with the uh, triangular shaped face. I'll be going there on opening day, March 11th. That observatory is called The Edge at Hudson Yards. It's supposed to be a glass bottom and you can see right down to oh, the bottom. Oh, really? Yeah. That sounds interesting actually. It's like really, really cool. No one's done that in New York before. Uh -huh. Exclusive, exclusive on Action Kids Channel. Yep, coming soon. W Hotel, that's W Hotel. Oh, it's a hotel. Yeah, in uh, the Times Square area. The H&M building, which is the beginning of Times Square. I think this is the part where most people want to see like traditional <laughs> yeah. New York, right here. Empire State Building, all the tall skyscrapers on this side. Yeah, I have to say this view is a lot better than the Empire State Building. I only went up to the 86th floor, but there's less crowds here and you can see the Empire State Building from the top of this building. Yeah, exactly. That's what I've heard that this view is better because you can actually see the Empire State Building yeah. instead of just being <laughs> onto it. If you're on the Empire State Building, how can you see it? Yeah. That's and also true. you can't see Central Park because this building's in the way. That's true. I love also the perspective between Empire State Building and Freedom Tower. Yeah. Because they are, at least for me, I don't know if it's common, I guess so. They are the two symbols of New York. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> when I see either one of the, these two towers from far behind, I can be in any borough or even in New Jersey. 
but that gives me a sense of New York. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and here you can see them both very closely, very, it, it's so beautiful. It is. Did you know there's another level too? Look. Oh. <laughs> I must say, I like this di different levels idea. It is. Because <clears throat> here you have a better view than downstairs, mm -hmm. but the problem is that you have this. I know, this, thing this here. rock thing is mm. very annoying. The stone thing. They don't have this at the Freedom Tower, One World Trade Center. It really like destroys the view a little bit. Is it all just glass? It's all glass. Uh -huh. Yeah. And it's covered, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't really see like straight down because you're just gonna see the stone. But maybe it's different from the upper level, so huh. we'll go there. Oh, right here. Let's go. Better and better. It gets better. <laughs> you really get to see Central Park now. You really feel on top. Now. Oh yeah. And I guess this is a weather station at the top. Wow. Can you see this, folks? This is the top of New York City on one of the tallest skyscrapers in Midtown Manhattan. Whoa. Oh, look at this side, it's so busy. There's a reason why. <laughs> Whoa. I feel like a tourist today too. I feel like a tourist too. <laughs> Having to take pictures at every two seconds because it's too exciting. <laughs> I don't need to do that because I have the cameras. Which it, with the 360 camera you can just pause it and move it around. It's a really underrated technology. Not enough people take advantage of it. But hmm. it's you really think so? cool. Yeah. I haven't seen so many 360 videos around. Mm -hmm. You're right. <clears throat> because a lot of times people find them overwhelming. It's too much. Like they don't mm. know where to look or the person's trying to direct your attention. But it's really about you, what you want to see. So if you want to see the Empire State Building, you could look at it right now. If you want to see Times Square, you can. If you want to see the beautiful Mary Jane next to me, you can. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's scary. <laughs> it's like the big brother. Now I feel absorbed. <laughs> oh, look at the, 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 um, the other level. I really like this thing, like this organization in different levels here. Mm -hmm. the Look terraces. at the people, they're so small from up here. And the taxis. It's like, whoa. It looks like I'm looking at ants or little tiny bugs yeah. <laughs> from up here.
can still smell food. Yeah. Even up here. Because <laughs> that's the thing in New York for me, that you can always smell food mm -hmm. somehow, for yeah. some reason. <laughs> I know Mary Jane's very sensitive to food. She made some videos on <laughs> Venice. All the different kinds of food in Venice. Okay, I think I'll go to the side. Whoa. The Brooklyn side is less visible, right? It is. Well, this, uh, this side is the Queen side. I see uh, Long Island City and the Queensboro Bridge over mm -hmm. there. Roosevelt Island. Uh, oh, I think that's the United Nations building. No, no, it's over there somewhere. It's blocked. Unfortunately, the, the ugly MetLife building is covered in the Chrysler yeah. building. Yeah, they call that MetLife building an architecture brutalism or modernism. People hated it when it went up. Well, I do agree with those yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be called the Pan Am building after Pan American Airlines. Uh -huh. It was the largest airline at the time. Do you know when was it built? Um, I think in the mid 1900s, sometime around there. But it was built because the owners of Grand Central Terminal, they let them. They needed mm. to raise some money. Mm. And it's funny that an airline company took over that building when the railroad company owned the land. <laughs> We have the Empire State Building, which is Art Deco style. This building also, Rockefeller Center, is an Art Deco building also. <laughs> All right, is, let's go. Is that Long Island that we can see? Uh, no, that's uh, Queens. No, I mean very, oh, very, very far very away. Far. I you mean, can you, could, you can try to make it out, but you really need like a zoom lens hmm. to make out Long Island. Yeah. But if you're talking about the island itself, this is technically Long Island too. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But most people, New Yorkers, when we say Long Island, it's way to the east. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I meant <laughs> like over the airport. Yeah. Over the JFK Over the airport, airport no. Okay, let's go to this side now, the northern side. You know what, I really like this portion, there's no, uh, no glass. Now let me just go over here and see what kind of skyscrapers I know. Yeah, I'm curious to hear that. Oh, I know that building. I think it's called uh, 503 or 603 Lexington Avenue. That's called the City Bank building. Hmm. It's unique because there's a triangular shape at the top. It's built on stilts, so they needed to make it that design. <laughs> you know, it almost uh, fell over too, because at the time when they built it, the architect, when he designed it, he like didn't do some calculation where the wind, if it blew a certain speed, it could topple the building over. Oh, and it was only a student who was doing a, like a research paper, discovered this building. She was like, oh, this building's like so unique. How do you make it this design? And it could withstand like the wind speeds and whatnot. Can you explain? And then Le Mezer, he was the engineer or the architect. He was like, oh wait, I made a mistake. Like <laughs> the wind point she brought up like really is like a problem. So they spent like all day and all night trying to fix the problem before a hurricane came to New York City. And they fixed it, yeah. Well, it wasn't all day, it was only at nighttime. They wanted to hide it from people to fix the problem. <laughs> That's such a great story. Yeah. 
Wow, like an, an engineer female student. Yeah, that female student learned the Because that's also peculiar, building. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, already engineering is more like a masculine yeah. uh, field of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I learned this story from the urbanist. He's oh, really great. good, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Ariel. Shout out to Ariel. <laughs> Who is also planning a video, I think, with Mary Jane soon, right? Yes! <laughs> we are going... It's a food tour, though. Oh. So we are going to eat food. <laughs> it's going to be fun. He right. always has the best spots for restaurants, I must say. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. I really trust him when it comes to food now. He should be the history of food also, not just the history of cities. Yeah, seriously. But yeah, you can check his channel out too. And Mary Jane's channel. What a shame, Mary Jane. <laughs> what do people think about this tower, the Central, Central Park Tower? This one's just called 432 Park Avenue. Oh, okay. I mean, I think it's kind of weird as a New Yorker to have this in the middle here because it's really out of place. You have all these tiny skyscrapers and then you have this really long, thin one. <laughs> tiny <It> looks, skyscrapers, <laughs> like how you said that. It looks like a pencil. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Also, the, the architectural style is a bit odd, right? It is. It doesn't really fit. Like, I like, I like this glass one here in the middle. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of it. You can really see the entire tower to the bottom here, to the street. It's so impressive. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think we'll end this video here. So I think I could stay here forever, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to start a live stream, so if you want to check that live stream, then I'll leave a link in the upper right corner. But as for this 4K video and the 360 camera view, it's time to say goodbye. And all right, everyone, hope you enjoy this view from top of the rock all the way from the top of New York City Rockefeller Center. Be sure to subscribe to Mary Jane's channel if you haven't already. She does awesome tours around the world. She's traveling and foodie and all this stuff. Thanks. So cool. But. I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.